at it again. And um, we've got an interesting one here just based off of the title and the person that is in it. I am sure this is going to be very, very entertaining. All right. But before we hop into it, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. All right. Join the family and make sure you guys are following me on social media. Those links are down below in the description box. Instagram, Twitter, Truth Social, Discord server. All of that good stuff is down below. And with that being said. <laughs> Oh, and please be aware there is a scammer in my comment section who has unfortunately made their name to look at almost exactly, pretty much exactly like mine. I will not ask you to send me money via Telegram or WhatsApp or anything like that. The only way to donate to me, to this channel, is via a super thanks or a super sticker. Uh, I think if like you scroll over where the thumbs up button is, uh, you'll see like a super thanks where, you know, you click it, it'll, you know, bring up like an amount or something like that. That is the only way that you can donate to the channel. Any other way, it is not me. So please do not. Well, I mean, I still think my PayPal is in the, in the description, but I need to get rid of that. Um, but that's it. I'm not going to ask you to send me any money via Telegram or WhatsApp. So please do not get scammed. But with that being said. Let's dive in. Now, uh, we got one here with Jesse Lee Peterson. And the title of this says, Jesse Lee Peterson appears on the Dr. Phil show and shocks the indoctrinated audience. <laughs> Let's just jump into it. Elon Musk has been tweeting about the Earth's alleged underpopulation crisis. But should we be concerned? We've agreed that it's not birth rate that's causing any kind of climate change. It's not the driver, at least, that's for sure. You think it should be yeah, birth people should qualify down. and be tested. You think people should be tested. You think we should just feed them and let them <laughs> age I, out. Voluntarily. Yeah, right. I mean, it, so. Qualified and tested. Does he mean like, like tested mentally and qualified like financially? Which you get into a, a a really weird area. I mean, because you know, have y'all ever seen like you know a family or someone out there with kids, and you're like, yo, that person should not have any kids. Like, oh my goodness, and you know they're kind of acting a fool with the kids, around the kids. You know, we've all seen situations like that. You just, you know, but at the same time, yeah. We're free to do what we want, but, you know, it's just like, ugh, ugh. am I the only one? Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm some type of idiot. I don't know. Age out. Voluntarily. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, so as a society, I mean, we value freedom and the, you know, reproductive choice is one of those freedoms. And I think the better approach is to try to educate people. Um, so that they're responsible when they have children and they can care for them. But I mean, I think actually, having the I have I, I actually have the solution, but I, I'll wait for him to finish. I, I actually thought of a much better solution. Government getting involved in anything that can care for them. But I mean, I think having the government getting involved in anything like this. I mean, China's done that. It's a disaster over there. I completely agree with you about reproductive freedom. I think that's the most important thing we need today. Hundreds of millions of couples are denied their right to not procreate. Well, we, uh, what? we were mentioning how, how's how that? Oh, go how ahead. Are, how are they denied that right? Uh, they do not. They do not have the uh, contraceptive services, reproductive health services that they need. Those are not uh, provided. And maybe people should supply their own. But bro, you can buy a box of condoms at your local gas station for a couple of dollars. <laughs> what <laughs> condoms are not that expensive literally if you cannot afford condoms listen you 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 got some major problems on your hands okay you get sex should be the last thing on your mind just use old pomela <laughs> i'm just you know what i mean it, it, it it's facts though <laughs> pomela ain't gonna get pregnant i'm just saying <laughs> You know, sheesh, ladies too, ladies too, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. They can't afford it because they're having more 
offspring that they can't feed. Where, where is that? Just about everywhere. Try to get a uh, sterilization here in America when you haven't had kids and you're only 22. That's true. We're, we're not allowing people to we, not we breathe. We see people like that all the time, and you can put an IUD in. A copper IUD is effective for 10 years. It's inert. Have you ever it's walked in effective. a grocery store and seen a, a lady with a bonnet on her head with eight kids walking behind her? You think that she's being responsible? You think that she's really taking into consideration what she's supposed to do responsibly? You think that she's not on Section 8 housing? You don't think that we paying for her to house her kids? Was probably gonna grow up and steal my wheels off my car. I uh, <laughs> disagree with all. <laughs> what it does say at the bottom of the screen, though. Anton says underprivileged people should not. <laughs> Whoa, I do think there are a lot of uh, irresponsible people out there who um, don't really care about the consequences of having a kid. They don't really take it that seriously. Um, they just see having kids as just another thing to do. And it's unfortunate, but um, the government has incentivized that, I believe. Um, you know, if the government, if the government said anybody that has excessive kid or just in general, we're not sending out uh, food stamps for people who don't truly need it, who, you know, who aren't like disabled or anything like that. If you just have too many kids and can't afford to feed them, well, then you, you're on your own. You're up Poop's Creek without a paddle. Okay. We're, we are we are not, you know, um, food stamps. We're not paying for your housing, okay? Unless you are, like, legitimately disabled, you know, like a, for example, like if a veteran came back from war and, you know, was a quadriplegic or something or paraplegic, you know, it makes it really difficult to work. Obviously, you know, there, there are certain types of people in our society that truly need help or someone born with a disability, you know what I mean? <clears throat> there are certain types of people in our society that truly need the help. You know, it wasn't of their own doing, you know, uh, why they're in the situation that they're in. And even some people who it was of their own doing, but we're not going to get into minute details. But unless you're one of those folks who truly need the help, if you're just somebody who's just out here willy nilly having kids and you think the government's about to come in and pay for your housing and pay for your food. Mm -mm. No, we're done. It's over with. Uh, Uncle Sam is not taking care of you anymore. I guarantee you if the government said that, that would all end. All of these people that are just, and listen, I've seen it personally. I know some people who have done it personally, who just, just have kids, just five, six, seven kids, just bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> like, yo, I know for a fact you can't afford that working the job that you work. I know for a fact you can't afford that. I know how expensive a kid is. Um, so to to have six, seven, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, whoa, like, why, why are you? I feel like that's that's irresponsible. But they know Uncle Sam's going to come in. How much you need? You said, OK. Here you go. Maybe it's time to end that. Make some people uh, more accountable. But what do y'all think, though? Am I am I too cruel? Let me know. It's was probably going to grow up and steal my wheels off my car. <laughs> I uh, disagree with all this crap that I hear. I grew up with six brothers and seven sisters at a Damn. time when, you know, I grew up on a plantation in Alabama. Sheesh. And we grew up in a little hut house, bathroom outside. And we, my family uh, raised an amazing family, children. But what the difference was then than it is now is that before you had babies, you got married. So you have the father and the mother in the home. Good and point. while the father was out earning a living, the mother was watching over his children. And so you were able to raise decent children. We didn't have government in our lives at the time. And so we were able to do that. And in America, we were not allowing all these illegal aliens and refugees to come into our country. So our government were not taking care of folks from other parts of the world and the families in America. We took care of ourselves. I think you've pretty much <laughs> pissed off everybody. <laughs> um, but it, you, you said you, you said there's not anything you've heard that you don't think. Any Anybody that's angry about that, well, then maybe maybe the government should switch the way that it runs, right? 
you get to choose what you want your tax dollars to pay for. Now, obviously, there's like a minimum amount of tax that you have to pay, right? There's like a minimum amount because, you know, for example, you know, there are certain people who truly have a disability that need assistance and need help. Roads still need to be, well, I mean, the roads still are terrible, but we still need funding to fix roads and, and things like that, infrastructure, all that kind of stuff. So there is a minimum, but beyond that, the American citizens, each one individually can decide what their or how much they want pulled out of the taxes and what they wanted to go towards. Rules for thee, no rules for me. As long as I don't have to take on the brunt of the cost, then it's okay. Because then the government's going to say, hold on, wait a minute. Now we don't have enough for this because we were only taking 1%, but I think we're going to actually need, based on the numbers of you guys, we're, I think we're going to actually need another 10% from each of you to, to make sure these guys and gals are actually covered. I guarantee you they would say no. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? Y'all agree or disagree? Let me know. It's crap. So what do you think? I you said need, what you don't think. What do you think? I know that we need to restore the family. We need a smaller government because government don't make anything work. They screw you up. We need to stop taking care of women who are having these babies out of wedlock. Correct. We need to stop taking care of these women who are coming from other countries. We need to stop taking care of their babies. But we need to take care of American families first by getting them away from the government and restoring order. Okay, you're, you're a pastor, right? Yes. And you're a radio host? Yes. Okay, and you said you believe white people should have more children? We definitely need white babies. And I tremble at the idea that white babies, that the white uh, group is going down in numbers because if you lose white folks, America, it's over for America. Because if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They, they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. They don't build, but they destroy. I do. said you'd piss off everybody I was wrong. Now you piss <laughs> off everybody. <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson, man. <laughs> the guy is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. All of these other groups, they, do, they don't do nothing but destroy. <laughs> oh, sheesh. You know, and I think that boils down to the family structure. It is, it is broken apart. It's broken apart. The government has incentivized families to no longer stay together. No longer stay together. Uh, you know, you, from Uncle Sam coming in and providing assistance for whatever, whenever, to, um, you know, even, even if you want to talk about, you know, government marriage, right? When you get married and the government gets involved, which I disagree with personally, but we, we can have that discussion another day. Um, you know, the government gets involved and they tell the woman, hey, if you are, if you want to walk out, right, if you want to walk out, it's great because we'll give you half of what your husband was making, you know, we'll give you half of what he owns. You can walk away with half and a bonus. If you guys had kids, you could take the kids and on top of that, the cherry on top, we'll make him send you money for the kids too. And it's just like, wait, what, 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 what? Like now you're incentivizing people to get divorced. Walk away with whatever you walked into the relationship with right now. Obviously, some situations are a bit more complicated than others. Let the kids decide who they want to go with. OK, make sure both parents are working. Like I just saw Kim or uh, Kim, Kim Kardashian put Kanye on child support. What the f Why does that even make sense? This, 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 this chick is like a billionaire. Why why does she get child support? I'm I, I'm I'm sorry, but this just doesn't make any type of sense to me. None. But it's stuff like that where it's just like government failed again. 
government has failed again. Now, obviously, there are situations or circumstances where, you know, some men need to be held accountable for their actions. And maybe we could we could tweak the system uh, to, to, to make sure that men who aren't taking care of their business can be held accountable. But the men that are, why, why should men that are taking care of their business be, be held? Like, once again, <laughs> it's, it's, this stuff, and I know we've all heard the stories. We've all heard the stories. I'm, fellas, I'm, I'm sure some of y'all probably know someone who's been through this situation where two people have kids, they split up, the dad is still in the kids' lives, still providing, you know, financially for the kids and whatever, you know, whatever. Hey, you need some diapers. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll either send you the money or I'll go buy some myself and bring them to you. Kids need some food. All right, cool. I'll send you some money or I'll go buy the food, bring it to you, whatever. And they still get put on child support. And I'm just like, well, what the F is the point of that? What is the point? That that should be somebody that you should be applauding for, not punishing. He's still taking care of his business the way that he should. Now we can get into, you know, splitting from the mother, how detrimental that is, but that's a whole nother different discussion. He's still taking care of his kids. Why is he being punished? Kim Kardashian is a billionaire. Why is she getting child support? These people decided to lay down and get piped and, and, and let some fella, you know, skeet all in them. And now they have freaking 10 kids. Why is the government stepping in to take care of them? You made that decision. You made that decision 10 or 7, 8, 9, 10 times or 5, 6, 7 times knowing that you couldn't afford the first one. But you went back and did it again. Couldn't afford the second one. You went back and did it again. Couldn't afford the third one. You went back and did it again. And so on and so on. Why is the government stepping in? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a horrible, terrible person. Maybe that's the case. And y'all be honest with me. Maybe I'm just trash. Honestly. Honestly. You know? Be honest with me. How do, how do y'all feel about that? Am I, am I just a... Um, Am I just a horrible guy for thinking that way? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.